Hello students. Are you ready to discover the exciting world of physical and chemical changes? In this video, we will uncover the secrets of these changes and learn all about their special properties. Let's first understand what is a physical change. Imagine cutting a paper into pieces or melting butter in a pan. When you cut a paper into pieces, you still have paper, but in smaller sizes. Similarly, when you melt butter in a pan, it changes its state from solid to liquid, but it is still butter. These are some examples of physical changes that you might have experienced in your daily life. But, have you ever wondered what exactly happens during these changes? In a physical change, substances only undergo changes in their physical properties such as shape, size, color and state, and no new substance is formed. So, if you have a block of ice and you leave it outside in the sun, it will melt and become water. But, it's still the same water molecules, just in a different state. Now, let's talk about the properties of physical changes. Firstly, a physical change is temporary, which means that the substance can return to its original state if we reverse the process. In other words, physical changes are reversible, which means that we can change the state or shape of a substance back and forth. When you light a candle, the wax melts and turns into a liquid form. When it cools down, the wax changes back to a solid form. Here the change is temporary. Secondly, no new substance is formed during a physical change. For instance, the ice cube melts to form water. Here only the state change occurs, which means the molecules remain the same. So students, with this you have learned about how substances can undergo physical changes, like changes in state. Now, let's move on to the chemical changes. Students, have you ever seen a cake being baked or fireworks exploding in the sky? Well, those are examples of chemical changes. Chemical changes happen when two or more substances come together and react in a way that transforms them into a completely new substance with different properties. And guess what? Chemical changes are permanent. Unlike physical changes that can be undone, once a chemical change happens, there is no going back. During a chemical change, a new substance is formed with unique characteristics that are different from the original substances. This is why we can smell and taste different scents and flavors because of the chemical reactions that occur when we cook and bake. For example, have you ever seen a piece of iron rust? It may seem like a simple process, but it's actually a chemical change that happens when iron reacts with oxygen and moisture in the air. Iron undergoes a transformation, resulting in the creation of a new red substance known as rust. This can be represented as iron, Fe, plus oxygen, O2, from the air, plus water, H2O, gives rust, iron oxide, Fe2O3. But rusting is just one example of a chemical change. Chemical changes can also release or absorb energy, like heat or light, which can be pretty cool to observe. Just imagine seeing a chemical reaction create a bright flash of light or a burst of heat. It's like a mini explosion right in front of your eyes. Students, chemical changes are all around us and they can be pretty fascinating. So let's explore some more exciting ones. Have you ever burned a piece of magnesium? When you heat up magnesium, it reacts with oxygen in the air to form a bright white light and magnesium oxide. This is a chemical change and it can be represented by the following equation. Magnesium, Mg, plus oxygen, O2, gives magnesium oxide, MgO. But that's not all. When you mix the magnesium oxide with water, it forms a completely new substance called magnesium hydroxide. Magnesium oxide, MgO, plus water, H2O, gives magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2. Now, let's see the reaction between copper sulfate and sulfuric acid. First, we will mix copper sulfate with water and add a few drops of sulfuric acid. Watch as the blue color of the solution changes to a different shade of blue. 
We will save a small sample of this solution for comparison later. Next, we will put a nail or a shaving blade into the mixture and wait for about 30 minutes. Keep an eye on it because something exciting is happening. Do you see the changes in color and texture? That's the magic of the chemical reaction taking place. Now, let's observe the results. The blue solution we saved earlier has remained the same. But the mixture with the nail or blade has changed. The color has turned green and there is a brown deposit on the iron. Copper sulfate solution, blue, plus iron gives iron sulfate solution, green, plus copper, brown deposit. Another exciting chemical change involves vinegar and baking soda. When you mix the two, they react to produce carbon dioxide gas, which you can see as bubbles. But that's not all. When you pass the gas through lime water, it turns milky due to the formation of calcium carbonate. This reaction is actually a standard test for the presence of carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, CO2, plus lime water, CaOH2, gives calcium carbonate, CaCO3, plus water, H2O. So students, we have just explored the fascinating world of chemical changes and how substances can undergo chemical changes, like magnesium. Now that you have understood the topic, open the Edurev app and take the test of this chapter. Also, here is an amazing secret. You get video lectures, chapter notes, and MCQ tests for all the chapters in the Edurev app. That's the magic of Edurev courses. You get everything in a single place. And, not just science, you get amazing courses for maths, social studies, English, Hindi, and much more on Edurev.